because of his knockout. Right, everybody was trying to say, you know, how you going to deal with this fierce and dry? Yeah. And I had such a bad attitude. And I was so focused and I was like, bring him on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bring him on. Yeah. Here's Al Hammond. <laughs> how are you doing? Very well, thank you, Eric. Good work today, how are you? Well, what can you say? One of the young pioneers of British boxing. Uh, Errol never got the recognition that he really deserved, but as a man, and as you can see from his funeral here today, well loved, and may he rest in peace. Well, cheers, Al. Pleasure, Derek. We're just going along here. Here we now we've got Duke McKenzie and Frank Grant. Frank, start with you a few words about Errol. Oh, it's uh, just sad, isn't it? You know, I, I met Errol in um, '92. He came up to Champs Camp to um, to spa, and um, yeah, he came up to Champs Camp. Um, Phil Martin got up there to spa, and um, uh, ended up eventually having another fight, didn't he, with Trevor Ambrose, and that turned into a disaster. I think that was his last fight. At least I hope it was. But he uh, was just a nice guy, just absolutely lovely guy, Errol. And, uh, never forgot him. I had to come down here today. Uh, me and Errol, 17 years old, me, Errol, Chris Pyre, uh, Tony Adams, and uh, anyway, we went, to, we went to Holland on a boxing scholarship, and I was actually there by default, because I got beaten in, a, in ABC finals by Peter Gabitas, and then they rang me up and said, do you want to go on this boxing scholarship for two weeks? You know, it says like me, Pyre, Christy, Tony Adams in Holland, just boys doing normal what boys do, girls going out, having fun, you know, training, the whole bit, and Christy and Pyatt, they were the two standouts, because when they boxed, you just wanted to stop what you were doing and go and watch them fight, because they just lit everywhere up, but Errol was just, just a decent, lovely, funny, he used to call me Ringo all the time, I don't know why, maybe he's got big teeth, but we had, we just used to have the funniest time, he was just a great guy, and I wouldn't have missed this for the world today because I know if it had been me getting buried today, he'd be there for me. So um, uh, it's going to be missed forever and I uh, won't ever forget him, you know? Just a decent man. Cheers, Duke, thank you. Well, going along here, we've got, we've got Derek Williams. Derek, a few words about Errol. Let me tell you, Errol has a, a bit of inspiration to me. I watched, I thought I was fit until I saw him running and training one day. And then I had to start running like that with Errol to learn how to become fit. We're going to be truly missed. Truly missed, man. Yeah. Okay, cheers. All right, cheers. All right. Join us now. Darren's rabbit in. Darren, a few words about Errol, please. How's it going? Errol is a lovely guy, do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, when I first turned pro, Errol was the first guy to see me have a little sparring session with him. And it was brilliant. It was good. I'm just so sorry what happened to him right now. I know he's been suffering for the last two years of cancer. And I know that Errol is at rest right now today. God bless him. God rest his soul. Cheers, Darren. Thank you. So with us now is Andy Sean. A few words about Errol, please, mate. Yeah, uh, such, a, such a fine fellow. It'd be sad if we miss, but also, you know, I mean, great time for myself and him. We grew up in boxing together, and we came to fruition where he fe I fed off him, kind of stuff, you know what I mean? And he helped me out in a big way as well. Always there for me. Went to America together, traveled the world together, so it's lovely for him. Just come to give him a good send off, that's all it is, eh? A brilliant turnout today. Yeah, lovely man. Yeah. My people, family, friends, people I've seen for years as well, which is lovely to catch up and well, you know. It's sad that everyone gets together at a funeral. They say, they say that, don't they? Yeah, say, yeah. But all the souls, look at okay, like Morris Hope, all the guys, like Tony Adams, all the names and the faces, Jack, James Cook. Yeah. saw Michael Watson was in the funeral as well, so it was lovely to see. You know? Yeah, see Michael, yeah. Special, well, yeah. Though, very special, yeah. yeah. Right. Right, right. Hey, Cheers, lovely man, no worries. Also, who else we got? Oh. Yeah. We've got Clive yeah. back in touch. Clive, a few words about Errol, please. Errol Christie, one of the greatest talents to ever come out of Great Britain. From Comte, like myself, a personal friend. What a, what a shame that the, the fellas died, but there's so much to remember for all of us. God bless Errol. Cheers, mate. Also, here's my soap. No, a few words about Errol, please. Errol? Phenomenal yeah. he was, you know, yeah, he was a lot younger than me, but um, I realised, yeah, he was a good boxer as an amateur, he won everything, didn't he? Made a name for himself, you know, and uh, made history, actually, and um, it's a shame, but you know what they say, he's only the good die young, nice fella, you know, and uh, I'll always remember him, and he was uh, a credit to boxing, I liked the way he conducted himself, and um, he was a good example. 
and my condolences to his family who is left behind. And um, you know, it's the ones you left behind, you know, to feel it most, that void. But um, at least he's um, not feeling the pain. Now, where he is, you know, yeah, no more sorrows, no more pain, and no more rents to pay. And um, the angels are looking after him, and you know, yeah, yeah. See you, yeah, someday, ever. Well Cheers, mate, thank you. Also here, Tony Adams. Tony, a few words, please. Errol, Errol was a credit to boxing. He's a credit to mankind. You know, he's a good red, a role model for the youngsters. You know, what I mean, he's a fighter in life, a fighter in the ring. Um, he's going to be greatly missed because he was um, a soldier. He even took his sickness as a soldier. You know what I mean? I went to see him and he took it great. You know what I mean? God bless him. May he rest in peace. Thank you. Well, join us now is James Cook. Okay. Oh, Christie, as you know, was probably one of the most talented fighters that we ever produced in this country. It just was just natural. Um, great guy. Um, and uh, like I said, everyone with talent. We missed them early, they go early, you know. This guy had super talent, wonderful guy. Brilliant. Cheers, James, thank you. Well, also joining us yeah. is Terry Marsh. Terry, a few words about Errol? Did you shared the bill uh, a few times? Yeah, they're good memories. Uh, they're very distant memories because uh, we lost touch over the recent years and uh, well, it's, it's sad that this has happened at such a young age but the good thing about it is you always get a good turnout. Yeah. So rest in peace Errol. Cheers Darren. We have an interview yet Darren. I, I, know just, I gave talk. you an interview already. Oh, yeah, my yeah, my yeah. plane's gone. Sorry yeah. Dave, we'll leave you then. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I won't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.